Hi guys, Nate here with Sea Legs. Uh, hopefully these quick tips are helping you figure out maybe any issues or anything that you're seeing on your sea legs. One other thing that we'd like to talk about, um, so, so just to kind of give you a quick little overview on the electrical components of it, um, you've got your trumpeted solenoid. These two are the valves. So the valves are actually going to open and close to allow fluid to actually move to the front or the rear legs. On the other side, you have a pressure switch which is when the legs retract, the pressure spikes, it one turns off the pump and two sounds the alarm. So let's just talk about the valves real quick here. So um, uh, one common thing that we see, these are spade connectors, uh, something might have snagged one of it or pulled it off. So I just wanted to kind of give you a, 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 just a, a sound of kind of what that, what that would sound like if something like that should happen. So the, the pump is trying to operate, but it's trying to spin the motor, but there's nowhere for fluid to go. So in this particular case, the front valve is not operating, and it'll give you kind of a, uh, almost a squealing sound. Rear operates fine, since the rear valve, there's no issues with that. If you, um, if you have power and it's all hooked up correctly, uh, first thing I would do is check and make sure you should have power actually going to the valve when you operate one of the toggle switches. Um, second thing that you can do is you can actually swap the coils on the valves here. The coils actually energize and magnetically they open and close the valve. So you can check or swap the coils to make sure it's not a bad coil, but uh, simply testing the, for voltage would tell you if you have power coming in to the coil itself. If you have power and it's still not operating, more than likely it could be a bad coil. Very unlikely, but could be a bad, bad, bad coil. Nate again here, Sea Legs. Uh, hopefully these quick tips are helping out. One other thing we want to talk about quick is the pressure switch. The pressure switch is on the one side of the pump away from the actual two round valves. Uh, the pressure switch has two wires going into it, which is a white and a purple wire. What happens on the pressure switch is when the legs are retracted and they hit the bottom deck of the pontoon, the pressure spikes, these contacts close, it does one of two things on that side of it. So you do see a little relay underneath. Uh, it's underneath the solenoid. I've got it. Un I've got the actual zip tie unzipped right now. So this is a micro switch relay. And what happens here, once these contacts are actually touched, um, and the pressure switch makes the connection, it does two things. One, it sounds the alarm. But number two, it shuts power off to the pump, so the pump doesn't keep running. One thing, uh, one way to help troubleshoot to figure out what's going on on that side of it, you know, say you have a uh, the legs are, are alarming prior to the legs actually tucking up underneath the pontoon deck. The first thing I would check for is air in the system. That's very common. There could be actually an air, little air bubble stuck inside of the pressure switch. I would bring the pontoon out to deeper water, disconnect the purple wire, and run the legs for, from fully retracted to fully extended about two times. Um, then once, the, once you do that, hook the wire back up and if uh, uh, all the air should be blown out of the system, the legs should retract, hit the bottom of the deck, and the alarm should sound. If that uh, doesn't work, the pressure switch could be faulty and opening the or closing the circuit too low, which could be an issue there. Um, 